Well, I think it's, it's pretty clear that the uh, fundamentals in the business um, are, are returning. Uh, 2010 was a year where we saw occupancies start to return to more normalized levels. And obviously, uh, what needs to really spend, you know, to improve over the next uh, two years is, is average rate. Uh, so that, some of that will happen naturally with compression uh, in the market. Uh, but I think a lot of it's going to have to do with how, um, uh, how, how consumer confidence uh, is built. And frankly, a lot of that has to do with employment. Um, it's, uh, it's one thing for uh, natural compression to, to imp increase rates, but what you really need is the business traveler to feel like they can start uh, uh, paying, paying the rate that they were paying three, four years ago. I think we're in the early stages of a rebound. I think we're starting to uh, see property operating performances uh, stabilize and improve in many markets. We're starting to see more capital come into the uh, hotel market for investment, and I think that uh, we will continue to see that over time. In terms of accelerating that, I think what, what it's going to take is continued improvement in those fundamentals. It's all about the fundamentals to me that as the property operating results improve, capital will continue to come to our business and, and things will improve and uh, grow. I think the rebound is starting to occur and I think it's partly through uh, people's belief that we have to adjust to the you know, overuse uh, cliche, the new normal. Um, and I think we are adjusting to it and I think we are finding new ways to do business and it's causing us to have uh, uh, the beginning of a rebound. The, um, to accelerate the rebound, I think we're going to have to see things change with you know, the tax structure or at least the confidence in where the tax structure is going to be. And there's going to have to be more of a confidence in the, in the future of our investments. And we're going to have to get the unemployment down below 10 percent. Uh, and that, when that happens, I think we're going to see a very nice acceleration of, uh, of uh, rebounding of our industry. Well, I think we are in a rebound. I think the industry is responding pretty well. I think you're seeing some very strong growth in uh, RevPAR. It's double digits right now. Of course, that's coming against larger double digit declines, but the margin is being narrow and in some cases succeeding week by week. So I think you can see some pretty good growth going on. I think as this industry uh, continues to grow uh, in terms of uh, demand, rate will follow. This is largely an industry that uh, follow, uh, needs to have uh, some spine built into itself and it's, uh, the herd will move. And right now we're beginning to see rate uh, move, and I would base uh, my belief that we were in a recovery based upon that. And I think it'll be a stronger recovery in 2011 uh, than uh, we're anticipating, as long as we don't get some kind of event out of left field, either another financial crisis or a um, terrorist event or something like that. I think the way is pretty, way, pretty well clear for the industry to continue to rebound. From our perspective, I think we are in a rebound. I, I think what um, the biggest question for us is is what that rebound um, looks like from a magnitude standpoint and, 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 and from an acceleration standpoint, as you mentioned. I think you know what we base it on is is hotels that we own and hotels that are we looking at that we are, are actively looking at. You can see um, you know a pickup in demand. I think one of the interesting things about this rebound is that you see a pickup in demand, but it's, it's very short-term demand. You know, the booking window for a lot of group houses has changed from, you know, a year out to, you know, 60 to 90 day windows. And I think um, what that really shows from a rebound standpoint is that it's, it's a very tenuous rebound. And I think guys are, are still being very conservative in how they approach um, business travel and, and, and group bookings in that you know they're not so certain about the rebound themselves from a, a broader economy standpoint and until I think we see um, a broader economic uh, turnaround I think the rebound is is going to be um, a, little, a little softer than we've seen in some prior periods when we had greater economic growth. I don't think we are uh, in a rebound. Uh, I say it, I'm talking about the economy hotels uh, because that's what I represent as a chairman of a whole a majority of our members are uh, owning the, uh, the mid-scale properties uh, on the upper scale, yes, you, you can see some rebound there uh, because of the businesses that are spending money, people, uh, the corporate is traveling now. But in the mid-scale, uh, I don't see any, any changes. And the reason for that is, first you have to have money to travel. Uh, money comes when you have a job. And I'll keep on watching the job growth. If I see the indication is going in the right direction, and then I'll start saying that when the rebound will come. 
right now is unpredictable until I see the job growth. We're definitely in a rebound. There's just no no question about it, and you know, we're seeing all our numbers uh, since February, March of this year uh, on a year-over-year -year basis have been positive, and uh, we were fortunate to uh, to have renovated many of our hotels, and those hotels are um, are, are growing faster than uh, the broader market because uh, they're already uh, positioned. Uh, to take advantage of, of the rebound. Um, and as far as accelerating the rebound, I, I think uh, accelerating the rebound is, um, you know, this cycle is, is, is performing typically like other cycles. It happened to be a lot more severe uh, than prior cycles, but uh, we're seeing occupancy come back. Um, occupancy and demand comes back first, and then uh, you're you're able to build pricing power. And so, as far as the acceleration, it just as uh, corporate America and uh, groups come back into the market, uh, you're going to see um, you're going to see the performance uh, accelerate in, in the uh, in the assets and uh, in the revenues um, on a go forward basis. So we're very optimistic about um, about what we're seeing and and where the market's headed. We are definitely in a rebound. I agree with, I think, everybody saying that. Operationally, numbers are strong. Look at PKF, look at STR. The rebound predicted for next year is you know, now 7 plus percent. Transactionally, we are in a rebound. Money is starting to flow. People are starting to have money, and that's good for everybody. Um, you can see all the hotels we're viewing. Everybody's up on a uh, operational basis, occupancy. ADR, not quite yet, but it's coming. They're up year over year revenue. Uh, and the transactions, 2011 is going to be a great year for transactions. What could help the, the rebound? I, I think lending. we still got to open up lending. We're starting to get some CMBS stuff. Uh, we, we need more of the regional banks, the community banks, to start getting some big, good lending to really help us with the bridge gaps. We've got SBA financing on the low end. Hopefully that'll grow. Uh, we've got equity, private equity, Wall Street money on the high end. We've got nothing really in the middle. Right now, that's the gap that we need to fill. You know, hotel fundamentals today suggest that we are in a rebound. Um, specifically, year-over-year -year declines in RevPAR turned the corner in the first quarter of this year. And more recently, in August or so of this year, we started to see occupancy reach its peak. And so if you study the Smith Travel Reports, it would show you that we're in a good position for Re RevPAR to stabilize. And I think between all of the energy across the major brands and leading management companies, there will be a push to stabilize the um, group sales business and to really focus on pushing rate for next year. That plus the fact that supply is near zero, practically looking into a year from now, and well below historical norms suggests that we're in a good place to push RevPAR and to um, increase NOI across the future years. Is the industry going to rebound? Uh, absolutely. I think that from my perspective, we're all very, very happy that 2009 is behind us. Uh, as I look at the fundamentals in 2010, occupancy, uh, we've had great gains in our portfolio. We have about 75 hotels throughout the United States. You know, rebound is really a market-by-market market issue. Uh, you look at certain markets like New York, uh, we're seeing, you know, 15, 20 percent rebounds in RevPAR, mostly on the occupancy side. Other cities trail that mainly because they had a lot of new supply coming on. Uh, the prognosticators out there that we're listening to as we budget for 2011, uh, we're seeing RevPAR gains probably anywhere from 5 to 9%, uh, and we feel very good about it. However, we're, we're still headwinds ahead, I believe, uh, as it relates to the economy. Uh, very concerned about uh, Congress and Washington, all the upheaval we have there. Uh, we're still dealing with issues from a standpoint of labor, costs, things that affect us. Uh, I think collectively us as an industry need to work on uh, how do we promote tourism, how do we promote travel to the United States. So we do have some headwinds, but we're feeling much more encouraged than we were, say, 12, 12 to 18 months ago as it relates to the rebound. I think we are truly in a rebound. I base that on the fact that we've seen an uptick in RevPAR, increased travel. Um, we've also seen increased deal flow, especially in the conversion arena, uh, and an uptick in the transaction activity. Um, I think in order to maintain this, we have to really stick to some of the fundamental practices that we've put in place um, from things that we've learned during the recession. So we need to continue to operate lean, um, and we need to continue to be mindful of return on invested capital when we look at prospective projects.